God believer, you're stupid. Gee, you sure are grumpy, and you sound just like Patrick from SpongeBob. Whatever. So, Mr. Atheist, I'd like to know what you think about the supernatural. <laughs> there's no such thing as the supernatural. Just like there's no such thing as God. Just like there's no such thing as the flying spaghetti monster. Oh, I see. Well, let me ask you this. Do you believe in the principle of cause and effect? You mean the rule that says something cannot come from nothing? And every effect must have a cause? Yeah, of course, you moron. And that's why I don't believe in your stupid god. Because your god would totally break that rule, idiot. How about the Big Bang Theory? You agree with that? <laughs> Duh, of course. That's how the universe started. A big explosion of matter and energy. It wasn't some supernatural force, creationist moron. Okay, Mr. Atheist. If you agree that something can't come from nothing, then who or what caused the Big Bang? In other words, where did the original matter and energy come from that started the Big Bang? You idiot! The universe is a constant. It's just always been there. Well, if you're right, that means the universe defies the law of cause and effect, doesn't it? And that would make the existence of our universe supernatural. Which means we both believe in a supernatural cause for our existence. Well, uh... You idiot! The universe just kinda started on its own. The Big Bang was how the universe created itself! Uh, how would the universe create itself? That would also break the law of cause and effect. You just said that was a big reason you don't believe in God. So then, shouldn't you stop believing in our universe? Well, uh... Haven't you heard of virtual particles? Scientists have found particles that might come into existence from literally nothing. So maybe something can come from nothing. Well, if you're right, doesn't that make God scientifically possible? Well, uh... Uh, well, I've heard some really smart atheists talk about other dimensions of time, or an eternally oscillating universe. Stuff like that might explain a universe without a first cause. Wow. Well, can those things be observed scientifically? Uh, no. Isn't that one of your biggest complaints about God? Uh, yeah. Never mind. I've decided I don't totally agree with the law of cause and effect, okay? Okay. That means you can no longer use that law to argue against God. <laughs>